Welcome back to another Steam Freight to Play review, and today we are going to play Slay Together, which is a game where you slaughter the masses, peasants, all the peasants, and you have this awesome beat as these creepy little kids dance around before they just slaughter all the peasants of the kingdom. So, I this game crashed for me a couple times and wouldn't let me connect when I first started playing, but I'm just going to assume that's on my end. So, I couldn't find a game room with anybody else in it, so I created my own. You have this awesome thing song that's like, da 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 <laughs> You have four children to pick from and three different weapons. I don't know if the characters didn't feel too different, they felt about the same. Uh, play style wise. And then you have your axe, your long sword, and your hammer. It says the hammer's the hardest, but I actually think that's one of the better weapons, because it gives you like a big AoE effect when you hit the ground. The sword I felt was the weakest by far because it's like a stab attack and it doesn't have any range. So this game is supposed to be like, I guess, a co-op survival game. Because it just floods you with peasants that have like almost no wind-up time and they're just determined to beat the crap out of these kids. These kids decided to wear a crown and these peasants did not think it was funny. They're like, you think our impression's funny? <laughs> I'm gonna beat you to death with this club, punk! So the peasants, whenever you kill them, burst into flames like a, the witches of the Salem Witch Trial. I don't really know what's up with that, but the flames hurt. So if you like try to hide in the corner or something, which I think is one of the better strats in the game, so you don't get like surrounded, they will burn you to death. Also, you get some potions. I noticed like in the first wave, I got a lot of potions, and as you go on, there's like fewer and fewer. The all, I could only get to like wave 6 by myself because these guys are merciless like with their no wind up time they're like sprinting at you and just beating you to death with their clubs and axes. So the axe is the easiest weapon to use but it's probably the best by far. I don't think any of them are difficult to use though because there's no like combos or anything in this game yet. This is still early access. But there's no combos. You have one attack per weapon and then you have a special attack. You can just Sprint with the shift key and roll with the space button. You have an interact button? <laughs> yeah, they just murdered me. <laughs> They're like, how dare you grab that hammer? That's my hammer! But uh, you can interact with the E key, but the only thing I found that I can interact with was the other weapons that you can choose from at the start. The hammer I enjoyed a lot. I thought the hammer was really cool because it has like a huge splash radius, so the only thing I guess... I guess difficulty is determined by how long it takes to swing because you kind of gotta time it to an extent, but I feel like you can just kind of swing it. Unlike the sword, the sword you have to like aim. I think the sword's hardest because it doesn't have like a slashing effect and it's a stab, so you kind of gotta get the peasants lined up and try to stab as many as you can. So the waves, like, it starts out pretty, it like scales hard. Like, you go from fighting 13 to fighting like 39 peasants, to fighting like 60 something peasants, to fighting like 100 peasants. <laughs> it's just like, eventually you just get flooded. I wish they would have added like combos or something though, so you're not just using the same attack over and over again. And like, there being like environments you can actually interact with, so you have that interact button, maybe like pick something up and throw something at the peasants, or like that cart right there, just pick it up and chuck it at them. Get away from me, peasants! <laughs> but the graphics are pretty nice, like... It's... The kids creepy as crap looking in their little dance moves, like they were doing some kind of weird Satan jig together. Before they go off to battle to slay the peasants. But the peasants have like a bunch of different character models, so you're not just slaying the same thing over and over again. You can tell they put some work into this game. Like, pretty good amount of decent work. The zoom key is pretty much useless. Because I don't know why you would want to do that. And the V just makes it where you can look behind you. Maybe I'm not good enough at this game to realize the point of it, though. Maybe there's, like, a super good reason why to zoom in. So this was my best run with this axe. This axe is OP. So the special moves, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, but they can get interrupted. Which really is awful because it takes so long to build them up. Like you're waiting so long to get the special move and then you hit the button to do it and it just doesn't go off for whatever reason. 
You have a stamina bar, but it's not affected by your sprint. It's only affected by your roll, so you can't just like permanently roll. But even with the roll, these people are still smacking the crap out of you because there's so many of them. I couldn't really find out like how to get an advantage from them because they attack so quick. You can't just like hit one and then get away because there's so many of them and they surround you and there's no like high ground or anything that you can really get to or like a funnel point and if you do go to like that a corner where you can pretty much back yourself in so they can't get behind you they just drop fire wherever they die <laughs> which is highly inconvenient the sword actually had a really cool special move though I really enjoyed that that was like the only good thing about the sword I hate that weapon I think that I'll be using the special move for the axe soon, so you get to see what that looks like. So I've seen people have gotten to like wave 40 in this game from the scores, which just kind of blows my mind. They had to be, I have to figure they're in like some kind of group. Or they're just survival gods, yeah, so that's what the axe special move looks like. It's just kind of like a bigger AoE attack, it's nothing too impressive. This guy got glitched. He's like, it's like, hey Bob, what you doing? He's like, I'm looking for kids with the crown to kill. And then you get closer and he notices you. He's like, oh God, you're one of them. <laughs> and you just smack him down. <laughs> Unfortunate. But it, it's, it doesn't glitch too much. It's an interesting survival game, I guess. There's not too much, like, I don't know. There's not too much control you have over the game, I don't think, where you can just, like, be a complete monster and just mob all these things like I feel like they're kind of going for it kind of seems like they're trying to make like a dynasty warriors type game but just it needs a lot of polishing like combos or power-ups or something you can interact with to help you just anything that adds to the gameplay really because it's pretty simplistic at the moment you got one attack you can roll and then you have this special attack, which is awesome. That's the sword special attack. It's so awesome, it just makes the whole screen freeze. And it blows everything up. So this game gets a 5 out of 10 because it's still really simplistic. And there's nothing super amazing about it so far. It's a very standard, like, survival game. The graphics are good. It, like, not bad at all. I like how the characters move around. It looks like they're doing a little jig like they are in the beginning. But, um, hopefully... In the future, they'll come out with like more things you can do besides just running around and stab, do a single attack, and just try to build up your special. It's nice that it has multiplayer too. If you just want to play a game to kill random ding dong peasants with. But as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.